Hi, I'm here to show you how to apply bubble CPAP on a neonate. Um, we're going to prepare our supplies first and then the baby will arrive and uh, we'll put it on the baby. Okay, so first of all, we want to cut our cheek tapes. This Replicare Thin, uh, which is like Duoderm, we're going to use that as our base for the cheek tape. This is what secures the uh, ram cannula to the Duoderm. So we're going to cut a piece of that as well. This is just white cloth tape. All right, so you can cut these in any shape that you like, but the idea is to cover enough surface area of the cheek without at the same time um, getting in the baby's eyes or on the lips. Um, so it really would be a custom made shape and size for each baby. I like to do a rectangle that's curved on one side with the curved side closer to the near, which I will demonstrate in just a little bit. And you definitely want your white tape, the cloth tape, to as closely resemble the size and shape of your duoderm because it's going to go right on top um, of the duoderm. So some people cut the two at the same time. Um, you can do that if that helps you, or you can just eyeball it and hope for the best. You can always trim it once you actually see the baby and place the tapes on the cheek. That's typically what I do is just adjust as I go along. Okay. So here I have two pretty similar cheek tapes to the duoderm. Okay, I'm going to get that out of the way. Next we have our cannulates. We have three sizes here, the small, medium, and large. Um, on a baby that is that we're expecting, which is about a three kilo baby, we're going to use the larger size. Um, I'm just going to trim it because I know what's going to fit the baby, but again, if you wait until you see the baby, you can trim it uh, according to the baby size and you can trim the bottom as well. Okay, discard of that. And then you wanna have a duoderm handy, uh, maybe a saline wipe as well, or an alcohol pad, especially for the vernix that might be on this baby's skin. You definitely wanna have a nice, clean, dry surface to place your skin barrier, then you put the duoderm, then you put the white tape, okay? Next we have our rim canelas that we're going to choose the right size according to the baby's weight. So we have our small, medium, and large. Uh, the smallest one is for babies under 1,000 grams. The blue, the medium, is for babies between 1,000 grams and 2,500 grams. And the orange, which is our largest size that we carry here, it's over 2,500 gram babies. So in this case, uh, for our baby, we're going to use the orange one. The last uh, supply that we need is the hat and chin strap, which we use to maintain the FRC um, that we provide with the CPAP. We want the baby's mouth to stay closed because otherwise without the chin strap, it would very likely stay open and you would lose a lot of that CPAP through the mouth. Okay, so here's our hat, here's our chin strap. This is the material that we use, the specialist stockinette. Two inches is a great size for all chin straps. Um, and then the three inch is good for the larger babies for their hat. So I cut a piece that I think would fit the baby, and I'm going to put my hand in about halfway, um, do a small twist, grab that twist, and then pull this side through. And it hopefully will line up. Okay, and then you take those two layers and fold two times. And that's the rim of your hat. Okay. And we'll see if we got it right when we put it on the baby. Then for our chin strap, this is about the length I would want for my baby. Of course, you know, it would be much shorter for a smaller baby, micro preemie. Um, but I folded it in half. That provides a nice size for the baby's chin. Okay, now that we have all our supplies, we're going to get our baby. Here we are. So first thing, we're going to clean off the skin. And then we're going to put our skin barrier. Make sure not to get it in the baby's eyes. 
and you even want to apply the skin barrier to the nose so that the cannulade will st will stay. And if I didn't mention before, the cannulade it serves the purpose as well, of, similar to the chin strap, of maintaining a closed system, a seal, so that the baby can get the full benefit of that CPAP. So let's apply our Duoderm cheek pads. You want to get it definitely uh, underneath the eye, not in the eye, a little bit away from the nose so that it does not overlap with the cannulade. And then we're going to just place that on there nice and flat. Same with the other side. Try not to touch so much of the duoderm with your gloves because if it sticks to you, it won't stick to the baby. Okay. And there we have our two cheek pads. Next would be the cannulate. It definitely has a stretch to it. So Watch out for that. Try to grab as little of that as you can. And then you're going to want to line up the holes with the baby's nares. Um, I like to put the bottom on first. Maybe do one side. That way if you have to stretch the other side, you can. And then I press down usually one side first and then the other side. Nice and firm. Great. Then we want to get our ram cannula. and position it over the baby's nares. You definitely want to make sure that the rim cannula is not sitting directly on the septum so there's no pressure, won't get a bruise or redness. I um, definitely want to protect that. And that's the other purpose that this cannulate serves to, uh, to protect that skin, the very sensitive skin, especially on the septum. So once we have the cannula in place, we can get our tapes, the white cloth tape ready, unpeel it, and do one side at a time. So, looks like I grabbed the wrong side. Here we go. Just turn it around and tape that down. It's actually easier on a real baby than on a mannequin. That should come out really nice and pretty. And then the other side. Make sure it's pressed nice on all the sides. And then this ring back here, um, it's of course going to tell you what size you have, you know, whether it's orange, blue, or green. Um, and you can actually move this uh, forward and backward uh, according to, you know, adjusting it to the baby. So if I wanted to put it behind the head and pull it close, I can do like this. Okay. Then, all right. So now you want to place the hat and chin strap on the baby. Um, so we made our hat already and want to stretch it out make sure it doesn't compress the baby's skull. Um, and then I like to use my hands on both sides to lift up the baby's head, pull it all the way to the back of the neck, and then pull it forward. So in this case, we got just the right size for this baby. You definitely want to pull the rim of the hat up so that it does not uh, compress the baby's eyelids. We don't want to get puffy eyes. Okay. And then lastly, our chin strap. So the position of the chin strap um, is important because you definitely don't want to obstruct the baby's airway um, because if the chin strap were to drop too low, um, then that would not be appreciated by the baby. So we're going to put it about here, about halfway on the chin strap, and then pull it back. I like to put it behind the twist. It tends to stay better like that. And then just do a firm but not very tight, simple twist. Um, that will make sure that, um, you know, to protect the baby's skull and not put too much pressure. And then, of course, adjust your chin strap at the very end. You want to make sure that the baby's mouth will be closed, but that the baby could still open it um, if you wanted to. Um, we're just trying to assist that, that seal, okay?